Hotep Leo, welcome to your beginning of the year bonus love reading for the month of January 2021. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and Leo. This here is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith signs. Now, if it resonates with you, then go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know and we'll be uploading new messages for you. Okay, love? Now, if it doesn't resonate with you, then don't worry about any of that. I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time. Okay, Leo? Also, Leo, if you want to donate to my channel, then uh, the link to the the cash app and the uh, PayPal is in the description box below. Also in the description box below is a link to my Facebook Messenger as well as my Skype Messenger. For those of you who don't have Facebook, there is Skype there, all right? Because I want everyone to get their free readings. That will begin on January 24th and will last for 90 days. And um, like I said, I want everybody to get there. So if you have a... Uh, Another way that you have in mind to get your free readings, then let me know in the comments, okay, baby? Let's get into your reading. All right, I see the romance angels here. Now let's go ahead and see what we have for you, Leo. Healing family issues. Give your relationship a chance and romantic feelings. Now, Healing Family Issues says here that uh, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, Leo, last time I gave you the reading, someone who had uh, cheated on you and had sex with somebody else was trying to come back into your life, okay? And it's like you did not forgive this person. You didn't want to have anything to do with this person. Now, it may be because of something that happened with you as a child. Maybe your parents did not stay together. Maybe one of your parents cheated on the other, and you seen how it hurt your mother when your father did it or your father when your mother did it. And so it's very difficult for you to forgive this person because uh, you still have that childhood memory. It could also be that your person is un was unable to uh, be faithful to you because they had that happen when they were a child. One of their parents stepped out on the other or maybe they have some type of... Uh, situation where the father had two wives or something like that or three wives you feel me and they're like okay well they don't know what it's like to be faithful to one person all right now I could go both those ways baby or probably it probably is like that you know you know how it hurt your mother when your father stepped out on them so you know you don't want to forgive this person because you feel that pain that your parents felt. Now, here we have give your relationship a uh, chance. Work on your partnership, Leo. This person is coming back into your life and holding you like this, Leo. They want you close to them. They want you to forgive them. They want you to work on this relationship, okay? They want you back into their life, baby. Now, you are still feeling some type of way, which is the reason why you're looking at them like that. And they can't face you. They can't look into your eyes because they know how much they hurt you. They know they caused you to cry. They know they broke your heart. So they can't even face you right here, Leo. Although they want you to give this relationship a chance because they still have romantic feelings for you. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring, love. All right? So this person, you know, they're unable to face you. So they come up from behind you, put their hands on your waist or your shoulders and, you know, breathe on the back of your neck and then turn you around and put their tongue right down your throat very gently, very romantically, okay? This is a romantic kiss. So it's a slow kiss, Leo. All right, now let's see what signs you're dealing with here. Barbary Zodiac Oracle. 
All right. So you have four cards that came out for you, baby. Here we go. Leo, you may be dealing with a Gemini. Someone who uh, gets hot and cold with you. Someone who wants to come back into your life, but then, you know, get all cold and whatnot and leave you again. And it may be that that is the reason why you don't want to deal with this person because of their hot and cold temperament. One day they want you and the next day they want something else. Now, here's a Sagittarius, baby. Yeah, they want to encircle you with their heat and their passion and uh, aim this arrow of passion and fire at you so that you can go ahead and get heated, all right? Uh, heated and want to give the love a chance, okay? Because like I said, they have romantic feelings and that arrow that they're aiming at you could be that tongue that they're sticking down your throat you know it may be a very warm or or hot tongue that they got in your mouth baby now here's this uh cancer mm. so this cancer was unable to maintain their uh uh faithfulness with you and now they're back trying to sink their claws into you looking right at you not paying attention to anybody but you and wanting to pull you into this watery world that they have leo you also have a scorpio baby who also wants to go ahead and sink their claws in Okay, but this Scorpio be hot and cold, just like that daggone Gemini. So it's like, okay, Scorpio is like the Gemini of the uh, the water signs. <laughs> okay, baby, let me go ahead. Let's look into these uh, romance oracle cards here. See what other messages we can get. Shuffled a hundred times and this came out or these cards came out. You got thinking here. This person has been thinking about you. It says, time is needed. Don't make reactive, impulsive decisions. Consider all prospects or prospects. Now, this person wants you to think about it at least, Leo. They want you to think about it. They don't want you to just throw in the towel with them. They know that they messed up, but they're asking you to consider the fact of their upbringing and how this came out in reverse, which is patterns, all right? You know, be aware of dating patterns and changing the subconscious mind, okay? You know, this may be something that is ingrained in you because what happened when you were a child. They want you to change that, okay? Or, you know, they see that you're not changing that. They said you're not changing how you feel about this whole infidelity issue and them going out there cheating on you. All right. And so it's like, you know, they see that uh, you will not change your your uh, your pattern on that because they went out there. Yeah. And mingled, found somebody else. They talked to new people or they could see that you are talking to new people. They see that you're interested in new people. All right. Now we got the subconscious mind again. But still, they want you to recondition and rethink everything. Or it could be saying that this person is reconditioning and rethinking everything and rewriting their belief system, okay? That, you know, they, they can be loyal to one person. Just because their parents may have been in some type of polygamous relationship does not mean that they have to be. Now, here we got missing you because they're missing you too daggone much, Leo. They're so sad and lonely. This physical separation is something else. They cannot get you off their mind, baby. Now, here we have the finger pointing. So this person is taking responsibility for what is going on inside of them subconsciously. Okay, the patterns that they have, how they go out there and mingle with other people when they had someone like you in their life. Even though now they see you mingling, or it could be because now they see you mingling, okay? And it's like they don't want you to get away because they realize your light. Maybe you were somebody who didn't mingle with other people in the past, but right now it's like... 
you know, you are mingling because you are healed, baby. You are healed and you realize that you are a divine being having a human experience. So you're not letting these human experiences, uh, you know, dictate how you're going to behave in this world. Okay, so it's like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here we have the Minara. Let's go ahead and get some of these messages. All right, my love. Let me get a few shuffles here. Yeah, I'm thinking that this person was dealing with you before you realized that you were the daggone son. Before you realized that you were something that gave life to them and to everybody else you came in contact with. You know, you didn't know that you were a divine being having a human experience. You didn't know that, uh, you know, that you were not the pain that you were feeling. You didn't know that you were not those tears that you cried or your heart break. But you are a divine being, which means you are above it. You were the one controlling this lesson. You know what I'm saying? You are the one uh Doing these things so that you can learn the lesson here. You are the center here. You are the one in control of what happens in your life. And you are observing yourself. Or your higher being is observing you right now. Alright, so you are at one with your higher being right now. Leo. And this person can see that. Oh, they can see that, baby. Okay. And it's like, you know, they just want you back because they see you shining. Yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day today. All right? Yeah. They see that sun shining brighter than it has been shining for uh quite some time and actually you are on fire too, Leo. Okay? Come on now, baby. Let's go ahead and get this dag on thing going. That's right. Come on, Leo. What are the messages we have for Leo? That's right, baby. We got the dag on star here. And we know that each star is a sun. <laughs> Or well, it's a sun that burned out, but it's a sun, right? <laughs> okay, they know you are the star. They can see your light. They can see you smiling. They can see you happy. They can see you doing everything, baby. They see you healed 100%. Come on, Leo. That's right. Come on, Leo. Bring it. What other messages we have for Leo? What we got here? Oh, Mira. So they got to look at themselves in the mirror and take responsibility for how they made you feel when you didn't know that you were. <sighs> they got to look in the mirror and accept responsibility for hurting you. And they also wanting to do something to your kitty, your wand and your booty. OK, they're looking in that mirror while they're looking into their own eyes. They're imagining and remembering what you look like down there, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They want that, too. Don't think they don't want that, Leo. Oh, they've been dreaming of that 100% since y'all split. The person who they went went to didn't have as good of a wand or as good of a kitty as you. Come on, please. What other messages we have for Leo? Oh, they were so disappointed with that person that they had to go ahead and light candles in their dark hour or dark moment because this person had them uh, feeling some type of way like, uh, you know, they were not happy. So they had to light the candles to try to find you again, coming back at you with this whole uh, romantic offer of real intimacy. Because I don't think this person really was that intimate with you in the past, Leo. I'm thinking that you were more intimate with them. You gave them all types of pleasure. But this person didn't really give it back to you in the manner that you gave it to them or equal or even more, it was less, baby. It was less than what you did. It was less. And they went to somebody else. And when they went to that person, karma whooped their ass. Here we go. Here we go. That's what happened. Here we go. This is what happened, Leo. Look. Look at this card. This was your person trying to satisfy the one who they left you for. The one who they left you for was talking to them like they were complete trash, talking to them like they just were not shit at, uh, that they rubbed off their daggone boots, okay, or their high heels. I think she may be wearing high heels here. They made your person become a servant to them. And your person was just trying to satisfy this witch of a person, okay, this 
uh, skank right here that they left you for. Somebody who was just real nasty. Oh, they were real nasty to them. I think I even see them calling them names, baby. I see them calling them little ugly names. You know, like your person may have not been all that fine. You know what I'm saying? But they thought that they could get something like you because you were fine, because you were beautiful, because you were sexy as all hell. So therefore, they left you for somebody else who was just nothing in comparison. And when this person took off the mask, baby, mm, mm, mm. And this person took off the mask. It was absolutely nothing pretty. Here we have the uh, eight of air. They became this image right here on top of your person. You see that image, baby? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, I don't know what the heck this is. Somebody with a mohawk coming after somebody with a smile on their face. And was just, you know, we got the crows here. The crows uh, are messages. So the way that they were communicating to them, we're talking about the, the air here, which is the, the swords. They were in complete and utter conflict in their mind when they were with this person. But because they left you, Leo, they had to see if they can work it out with this person because where else were they going to go? Where else was they going to go, Leo? Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Tower, baby. Oh, so this person tried to break them down, break their soul, break their spirit, break them completely, break their uh their mind. You know, just it was just bad. It was just bad. It, it, this whole role was just bad. What happened to them? It was. Mm. I don't I don't even like it and the energy that's coming off of this thing is like this person who they left you for was a complete demon. Okay? One of them really nasty, strong demons, like a Mored or something. You know what I'm saying? Something real nasty. Like a the Mored is one of those um gen of the gen race. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh Get another card for you. Here we got the uh the ten of swords, baby. The ten of swords is uh them trying to leave this person. They haven't had a daggone enough. This person hurt them too daggone much. It was over. It's over for this person, okay? It's like um they left, they're gone. You know, this <laughs> no. No, no, no. Your person didn't leave them. This was that person who treated them like garbage, and then they left them. That's what this card is telling me, Leo. They left them because this is your person down here, all right? This is your person down here wondering what the heck is going to happen now. This person leaving them or kicking them out of the house. And that may be the reason why they're coming back home to you, or one of the main reasons, because they need a place to stay. Mm. Mm. What other messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? <sighs> Ten of Fire. Oh, okay. So when this person left them, they came back to you like this, Leo. They came back to you trying to get you to listen to them and you were not trying to, okay? So this person, they got the daggone wand in their hand. They got that phallic in their hand. So it's like they wanted you to go ahead down there and maybe oral sex them. And you were thinking, hell no. Because I'm thinking, okay, we got this person right here. Uh, will give your relationship a, a a chance, right? They're hugging all on you, but you're looking at them like, eh, I don't think so. So you walked away from this person. You had your back to them. Then they came up behind you, okay, and uh, started kissing you and whatnot. I'm thinking maybe you turned away, and then they grabbed you up like this, all right, and had their wand in their hand, pulled their wand out, and started playing with themselves, okay, because they're trying to get you to want them again. But it's like, you know, 
know, because of their desperation, they're doing this. All right. It's like this person is uh, very desperate for you to accept them back into your life. Now, they may have pulled their wand out behind you and was rubbing all up against your butt. You feel me? But you turned around like, no, they wanted you to suck on it. Okay. And you're like, no. I'm not doing that. I'm absolutely not doing that. You need to go ahead and get the heck away from me. Mm. Or, <laughs> or it could be saying, Leo, this is the other way around, baby. It could be saying that this person who they were dealing with, okay, they tried to get them to not leave. So they pulled their wand out and begged them to stay. But this person left any damn way. So it can go either way. It can go either way, baby. And I'm thinking it probably went all those ways. Now, let me see. Let me see, Leo. Let's see you got all these daggone cards here. Mm. Let's see. What are the messages that we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. So, yeah. They feel like a damn fool. They feel like a fool for leaving you. They feel like a fool for allowing themselves to go to somebody else who they thought had real feelings for them, but it wound up being fake as hell. They beg this person not to leave. They beg this person to treat them better. It could also have been this person was forcing themselves on your person, okay? Was forcing your person to give them oral sex. Ugh, Leo, this is a lot here, okay? This card is just saying a lot to me baby okay this card right here is saying a lot to me with the fool right here all right it's saying a lot to me it's saying that uh you know they were being abused like that in the house with this person who was talking to them like they were garbage they felt like a fool you know this person was treating them like complete and utter you know trash and this wine bottle he has in his hand could have been their wand okay could have been their wand. Like, okay, they didn't want their wand. They wasn't going to give them any oral pleasure. Ooh. But they demanded your person to give them oral sex. Come on. Who the hell did they leave you for? Mm. Let me get you one more card, Leo, because this is it. I'm feeling some type of way. Mm. Here we got, ooh, Justice. Well, that is their justice. You know, they were in the house with somebody who they were walking on. They were walking on eggshells with this person. OK, they were seeing how this person was feeling day after day. This person was just somebody who was real mean, real wicked, real evil, you know, doing all types of craziness because they knew that they had power over your person because your person didn't have their own place. They moved in with them. Mm, what an idiot. Now here's the uh, light seers. This person was a dummy. Let me go ahead and end this thing with this. Mm. Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Lilith. They're trying to come back to you, force themselves onto you, like somebody forced themselves onto them. Okay, now that ten of that ten of swords could be you leaving, Leo. You're not trying to deal with it. Mm. I don't know why I can't shuffle these cards right. Let me see. One more shuffle. Okay, that'll work. Now let's see, Leo. What other messages do we have for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith. Wake up, family. What other messages do we have for Leo? Okay, Chariot. Yeah, Chariot. This Cancer right here rushing back to you. Rushing back to you, trying to get back to you at all costs, coming back to you like a bat out of hell because uh, the tower came down where they were. OK, the person who they were with told them to get the hell out. Now, what other messages do we have? Mm. 
You're someone who they love, Leo. You're someone who they remember the good times with. You're someone who, you know, you were very innocent with them back in the day. You know, you petted them like this was them as this dog right here. And like a daggone dog, they went out and cheated on you. Okay, now this dog, you was petting this dog. You were very innocent. You were very loving to this dog. And they remember that right now. Okay, because they're older now. They're older dog. And they realize that they don't want to be out there screwing around no daggone more. Here is the uh, the five of swords. The five of swords means that, you know, their conscience really got to them with all these crows around here. Okay, their conscience got to them. Uh, this person in the back, I don't know who this person in the back here is, could be... Uh, Alter ego, maybe their alter ego, they have decided to defeat their own alter ego who has been sending them all types of messages to not come to you or their ego, you know, just been telling them not to deal with you, not to give you any type of chances. Look like they've defeated that part of themselves, Leo. Give me one more message for Leo. Give me one more message for Leo. Come on, y'all. One more message. One more card. Are oh, you going to give me three cards? You're going to give me four cards. <sighs> Let me see. All right. Hermit. <laughs> the hermit actually came out in reverse. They're trying to come out of hermit mode. They're trying to come towards you. They're try they're tired of the ego winning over them here, okay? It's been one heavy burden. They want to come to you and bring you all their bags, all their clothes, because if they don't come to your house, they're gonna be out on the daggone street, okay? But I feel that you're not gonna give this person any kind of justice. The justice came out in reverse. So you're not going to be all uh pretty with a bright sky you're going to be dark towards this person like no there is no justice for you okay i will not let you back in here because i'm on my emperor status and i am on my emperor status and i'm just chilling I don't need anybody like you in my life, and quite frankly, I don't want anyone like you in my life, and I would appreciate it if you just go ahead and leave. Now, Leo, <laughs> I don't know, baby, because this person is going to be real hurt. I don't know what they're going to do when you tell them to leave like that, baby. Maybe uh, they want you to give your love a chance, but I think you're going to be like, no. Nah. You're going to uh, answer, probably answer the door looking at them like this, like, mm-mm, mm-mm, what is you doing here? No, <laughs> no. Then turn away like the emperor, just look somewhere else like, checkmate, you, ha you are destroyed. You know, you're going to hear somebody say, finish him. <laughs> Leo, dang, if this has been your reading, hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages, okay? If it's not your reading, don't worry about it, baby. I'm just going to go ahead and get you next time, okay? So until next time, Leo, peace, love, and light. Hold up.